Hi guys, today we will be looking at understanding reading comprehension. Comprehension is one of the main components of reading. Comprehension is the purpose for someone to read. Readers must read the words and understand what they are reading. When readers understand or connect to what they are reading, that's meaningful reading. An excellent reader has the skills to understand what is being read, analyze the content, make sense of the content, and own what is being read. Strategies for reading comprehension. Metacognition. Make connections. Annotations. Monitoring comprehension. Answering questions. Generating questions. Recognizing story structure. Making inferences, visualizing, making prediction, and summarizing. Metacognition. Metacognition is thinking about thinking. When someone uses metacognitive strategies when reading, it helps to think about and have power over the text. During the metacognition strategies, the reader might take key steps to understand or feel comfortable with the text before reading, during reading, and after reading. Before reading, the reader will clarify their purpose for reading by previewing the text, looking at the title, subheadings, text features, captions, etc. During reading, the reader will monitor their understanding of the text by doing whatever it takes to understand the text. For example, while reading, the reader might adjust the reading speed to fit the text complexity to fix any comprehension problems they are facing. After reading, the reader might summarize, question, reflect, discuss, and answer questions related to the text. The reader might Pinpoint where the complexity appears. Pinpoint what the complexity is. Paraphrase the challenging sentence or passage in their own words. Skim back through the text. Read or skim forward in the text for materials that might help to resolve the complexity. Reread lines or paragraphs several times. Making connections. When children can connect what they already know to what they are reading. Making connections helps readers to focus. For example, when reading the text, it mentions a place the child has visited. The child can talk or make notes about those memories. Annotations. Annotation is a way in which students interact with the text. Annotating the text includes highlighting directly on the text and writing inferences in the margins, lines, our arrows can be used to connect inferences to textual points.
While annotating, students might use some symbols. For example, star important ideas, underline key details and ideas, circle unfamiliar words, an exclamation mark is placed beside interesting details, a question mark is placed beside areas they have question or questions, and arrow is used for making connection. Monitoring comprehension. The ability to use strategies to fix problems related to understanding a text when reading. Monitoring your comprehension while reading lets you know what you understand and what you don't understand. Answering questions. When students answer questions, it gives them a purpose for reading. It focuses students' attention on what they are supposed to learn. It also allows students to be active thinkers as they read. Answering questions lets students monitor their understanding, aid students to revise the text and connect what they learned to what they already know. Generating questions. When students generate questions, they know if they can answer questions. It also helps them to see if they comprehend what they are reading. Recognizing story structure. When students can recognize story structure, they know how to identify the content categories. For example, the characters, settings, plots, events, conflicts, and resolution. Making inferences. Making inferences is when readers draw conclusions based on the information provided or reading between the lines. Readers relate what the author says or text evidence to their existing knowledge and conclude the author's unspoken or unexpressed message. For example, if you see someone putting on a new outfit and he or she makes a face, then you infer he does not like it. Or if someone tears up a piece of paper, you can infer that she is upset about something. Visualizing. Visualizing is when readers create a mental image in their mind as they are reading. The reader is picturing in his or her mind the way the author describes the setting or characters, etc. Making predictions. Prediction is when readers predict by thinking about what will happen next in the text. For example, I can predict that blank because blank. Summarizing. Summarizing is when readers can retell the main events of a story in their own words. Thank you very much, everyone. I really hope this video was helpful. Please remember, you can look in the description and you will find many more videos related to reading. You will also find videos related to grammar. And please don't forget to subscribe. Bye!